It's a pretty cloudy morning here. Um, I didn't do an update video in such a while. We had about two to three storms pass by and then I got so busy planting. Um, this is currently the garden. I still have a couple things to work out. A friend bought two blackberry plants for me and I, we worked on this first bed here last weekend so the plants are smaller um we did sell quite a lot the boys got a bit of their um most uh, most of their seedlings so that they wanted we gave away a ton to neighbors or anyone in our area who wanted and then we sold some and this is what we have remaining so we did have to pick up soil to amend this bed, not really amend, but to create this bed and amend some of the soil. Lots of things that you guys haven't seen. A garden tour will definitely be on its way, but you guys remember these baskets. And they're blooming. I'm like so wowed out how well they're growing. They're growing a lot better than, not a lot better, they're bigger than the ones in the ground. Now, I did plant them, um, curve the base so that they're not just planted like this in the bed, they're in the pot, they actually, um, I did put them to lie down a bit on their side so that they're spanning a bit of the width of the pot and I guess if you look you can see the plants are leaned to one side of the pot and then I did plant them in that angle. I will be topping them with mulch soon. I do want to put um, a layer of soil that I'm going to put some worm castings in and I will mix that in some soil and put it on top and then I'll mulch it soon. But yeah, I did share some um, pots with, of plants with some friends. We do have a few seedlings um remaining but i'm not sure what happened to these pepper plants and if any of you guys know we did have a cold spell i do think it's spider mite might be on this one i plan to pull it out today the one on the end over here so it's three of them that i was gifted this one here actually um looks much better than these other two so i might eliminate that one and see how it goes and um so this is more or less we got we ordered this online it's has like that belly thing i don't know plan to do a review if you guys want me to do a review on these um smart pot bed i do have a couple smart pots in where's the green ones i think they're at the back there i'll show you guys those in a bit um there's two gallon five gallon i think i have a couple three gallons and i have seven and ten gallons those i'm working on filling and um, beans are flowering in this bed meaning i said it was going to be okra now we did have quite a bit of okras um but what happened was uh something came and just eat about 10 to 12 of the seedlings and so we planted again and I think one two three six of the zing I give a friend to um, already so zing okra which are these with the I think it's zing or jing jing oh, um, orange from Baker Creek uh, those they have they're like an orange reddish stem and then I do have some Star of David on this end. So this middle piece more or less is going to be okra because they're going to grow up tall. And I'm hoping that they can shade, create shade to the rest of the garden. On this end here, I'm going to actually be planting some beans. That, and then we're going to set up a little, like a trellis here. Now I know I could set up a trellis. Um, it's... A wooden trellis and I should set up a trellis that arch over we're gonna do that the next year but with the setting up of the trellis here on this end of the bed 
we are going to help with the shade. Um, to shade some of these, well, this mainly is a tomato bed. Then I have some over there. We have been picking snap peas like crazy. Some, they've hardly made it into stir fry. So as I'm, as I'm chatting, I will share with you. Um, I'll talk, I'll show you stuff as I chat. Um, they've barely made them because we've been eating them out here. And Jordan and Jonathan, the two of my boys, love it. So some of the squashes, I noticed after the storms that they were looking quite yellow i did put some epsom salt and that helped but then we got more storms coming through and they also got a bit yellow the beans i need to feed them with some fertilizer um warm casting tea or something i want to i am thinking of doing that in a little bit just because we're gonna have rain this tonight but the soil here is pretty moist, so I may just, I'm not sure. So beans here, we have some, and look how pretty these flowers are, if I can show you. I'm using my iPad actually this morning, so I can upload this quickly. These are burgundy bush beans. Got the seeds from Seeds Now, and I'll put a link to them in the description. For you guys, I need to work on my description. So these are more snappies, I got couple more baskets as you guys can see and I love how they hang on the fence when there's a storm I usually pull them down my speckled speckled lettuce um, we have a lot of little critters we found a ton of worms snails slugs we found like two snails but I'm, I'm sure there's lots more so my nasturtiums have been in full swing we've been eating them like crazy I had one just a little while ago. They're so delicious. Um, some people don't like them. As you can see we have some peas here. Now the tubs, we're going to be getting rid of those because they had peat moss and and compost from over um, the winter. So I actually, this beans had just a stalk because something munched it from in a cup. I actually pulled it out of the cup and just stuck it in here <laughs> and I'm surprised it actually grew back so I'm like wowed out I have a radish here to pick and I see something has been munching on those things so we have tiny tims in these little containers I just want to see something so my peel is more or less taking a beating um, but I, I leave it because the bugs munch on that and a lot and don't well some of them do munch on my pak choy and stuff but in this area most of them munch on the stuff and the kale and they're kind of leaving me alone more or less um look at this tiny tiny plant and it's flowering it's actually a dual variety a lot of the um tomatoes have blossoms on them can you guys see yeah it's fun I, we have not gotten any beans we have we've been getting snappies nasturtiums um the cucumbers are taking off i'm seeing blooms starting to show up i do have to put up the trellis there we're gonna work on that this weekend um but lots of snappies nasturtiums um been picking this mud like crazy my cilantro it's bolting this is getting super hot here now we had a mancha here on this tomato which was sad and um i noticed again this seems to be a caterpillar somewhere so i need to spend some time and look i'm praying that i don't end up with any squash bugs and a squash bug we call them vine borers so i'm crossing my fingers this one is growing so well in this spot the blackberries here and the snappies just lots and lots of snappies so i added these spots with a marigold this is so beautiful of course this has bolted i'm leaving it to go a bit and have some more squash here the in-ground tomatoes then we did make this trellis for 
these are pole beans and I do need to fix up here a bit more and um we're gonna get wood chips to line the pathway soon everything is just taking a little time but i'm pretty happy with the progress my dad is going and mom they're going to be visiting soon so i know i'm going to get a bit more help from them but more or less that's the garden tour right now and how things are looking if you do have a video in your garden and how things are looking please Share with me i love to check your garden out and thanks for watching